So even though it's listed on the New York Stock Exchange, it's listed by BlackRock, who have 10 trillion under management. It's the largest you know, um, capital fund in the world. And they won't let you buy their ETF because they don't like the underlying uh, asset. So um, yeah, there's, there's still a little bit, a, a little way to go before it becomes easy for everybody. Do you do you have goals that you want to achieve in terms of like monetary wealth and, and everything like that? Not really anymore. No. Um, so I used to base it on the income that was generated passively from my um, portfolio, um, but um, but yeah, not not so much anymore. I, I tend to focus on like the. So I'm a deal junkie. So um, when people ask me what my favorite deal is, it's always the next one, um, which is spoken like a true degenerate. Yeah. Um, so, um, we, uh, yeah, I, just, I just get really excited about the next thing that I'm working on, basically. One of your last deals, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, was a $210 million roll-up of a company onto the stock exchange. Paris stock exchange, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean... So I mean the deals I'd, are getting bigger. And So what... So what's the next one going to be like? Five hundred million or? Yeah, I don't, again, I don't necessarily predicate it on the on the value. Actually, the next one is about two hundred and sixty million. Um, that's a live streaming uh, business that we're looking to take public, and then we have a roll up in the sports media space that could be about the same sort of size, and that's a really exciting, uh, a, a really exciting project. And sports media is super hot at the moment with Liberty buying Formula One and uh, and lots of stuff happening in that in that space. And Saudi really getting involved. They've created a fifty seven billion dollar fund specifically for sports media. Um, and sports in general um so so there's a lot of excitement around that space and so yeah that's quite a fun project working moment 